Welcome back to our course Math Essential for Machine Learning and today we are going to pick a very interesting topic called Bayes Rule and often it is uh, been observed that it is very confusing but then today we are first going to solve two examples and then we are going to derive the definition for Bayes Rule and we are going to see how it helps us in the real world. Okay, so yesterday in our last video we have seen that um, what is the probability of an event given we are certain that another event has already occurred. So, that is what we call as conditional probability and we saw that how it is derived as the intersection between the two events and uh, divided by the probability of the event which was already occurred or given and it is written as uh, like probability of the first event given this line represents this line here it is called given E2. So, this concept we are going to utilize in our Bayes rule and this is known as conditional probability. Okay. So, say in my example 1 I have two dice uh, one is fair and one is unfair. The green one is the fair dice that means it has the values 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 in its 6 sides and the unfair dice have uh, 1 in all the faces of that die alright ok given this situation if somebody asks me what is the probability that uh, I can draw a fair dice right uh, that is the uh, ask here uh, what is the probability that I will so, let's say that they are inside a container, yeah, they are inside a big container and so I have to randomly pull out uh, one dice and that dice should be the fair one. So, from basic probability we know that uh, the possible outcomes here is 2 that I can either draw this or I can either draw this right. So, the possible outcome is 2 and what is the chance that I will get a fair die is half. So, that means the probability to draw a fair dice is 50 percent ok. Now, this is fine. Now, the next question comes is if I give you some more information or, or some more event right then will this 50 percent chance of drawing a fair die remain the same or will it change. So, basically if I tell you that you know when when I uh, you know uh, fetch a die and then roll it I get a 1 ok. So, I randomly pull out 1 dice and I got uh, 1. So, if this is a new information then what is the probability that I got a fair dice does it make sense first event was I can randomly pull any die and what is the probability of that. So, I got that as 50 percent. Now, my second scenario is I give you more information then I still want to know whether the probability to uh, uh, probability to draw a fair dice is it still 50 percent or is it going to change. So, the condition is when I drawn a randomly dice I got and rolled it yeah and rolled it. I got a 1. If this is a new information then what is the chance that it is a fair die that I have pulled out ok. So, now let us then uh, you know draw the scenarios here. So, I have to start here say I have the chance to draw a fair dice or I can draw a unfair dice right and if I draw a fair dice then what are the chances of uh, getting a number ok. I can get either a 1, I can get either a 2, I can get either a 3, I can get either a 4, a 5 or a 6. And whereas, uh, if I draw an unfair dice I will get a 1, a 1, because all the faces have only one. So, have one and one and one. 
So that means all the six faces have one. So now let's look into the um, conditional probability here. Okay, here the probability or the event e1 is to uh, pull a fair dice for example and say e2 is the event to pull a pull an unfair dice okay so from conditional probability and say d is the pro is the probability to get a 1 or got get a 1 so you already know we got a 1 that is the additional information so what is the probability of getting e1 given the condition d right so we know that if we got a 1 that means there how many ways can we get a 1 so if we roll a fair die then i can get a 1 and if i roll an unfair die there are six ways i can get a 1 so that means it makes 1 plus 6 seven possible ways so there are seven possible ways to get a 1 and given this information what is the probability that i will get I, this is a fair die so out of 7 i know that it will be 1 because in fair die i have one only in the one side so that means this is 1 by 7 and if i change my question saying what is the probability that i have drawn an unfair die given that after rolling the die i got a 1 then there are six ways i can get a 1 out of seven possible ways so it becomes 6 by 7 okay so primarily we saw that the probability of getting a fair die was 50 percent or half right but now that we got a new information which is that once we roll the die that we pulled out and we got a one so the same event uh, the what is the probability of getting a fair coin no sorry fair die given that we got a one it changed to one by seven so roughly around 14 percent so you can see that with the new information our probability of something got reduced or it can go also up in maybe some other data set but then this is all about uh, Bayes rule it says that when we got a new information what effect does it bring uh, to the uh, to the outcome that we are looking for